and there's two different neurotransmitters. So let's look at the left side of the screen. We're talking about acetylcholine, and that is the primary neurotransmitter for the parasympathetic nervous system, or the, the, uh, the system that we often refer to as feed or breathe. Um, that neurotransmitter works primarily on uh, the vagus nerve, uh, which is cranial nerve number 10. We're going to talk about the, uh, the cranial nerves a little bit this evening as well. And everything on the parasympathetic nervous system is basically going to slow down. In contrast to that, we have the sympathetic nervous system, which is your fight or flight. And that uh, primary neurotransmitter is norepinephrine. So everything, if we think of epinephrine and norepinephrine as kind of the same thing, they're catecholamines, their job is to speed everything up. So the design of this particular slide here is to kind of show you that they are in contrast to one another. Now, one of the ways that I was taught and have always taught this is if you can remember one, then I think that you're going to and be able through process of elimination to figure out the other one. And the way that we remember that is something called pair of aces in Vegas. So at the bottom of the screen, pair of aces in Vegas. And I think that that's easy enough to remember. I know it's spelled wrong, but it's to try to make the point to you guys. So pair is the parasympathetic nervous system. Aces is acetylcholine because it is spelled A-C-E. And then it works on vagus or in vagus and Las Vegas would be VE. The vagus nerve is spelled V-A-G-U-S. So it is a pair of aces in vagus. And what you can expect to see as far as national registry is they may give you a question about the parasympathetic nervous system and which of the following is the primary neurotransmitter. And you may have an answer of epinephrine, you may have dopamine, you may have something that's totally off the wall and then acetylcholine. And if you can remember a pair of aces in Vegas, then I think that you're gonna be just fine. If your question was, uh, the sympathetic nervous system uses which of the following neurotransmitter? Well, you can at least eliminate one of them. You know that it's not acetylcholine because we're not talking about the pair of sympathetic nervous system, we're talking about the sympathetic. So when you're looking at these two, what I would like for you guys to do is just kind of think about this, feed or breed. So this is supposed to happen primarily at night, uh, but these systems are always in balance with one another. And at nighttime, when you're feeding or breeding, you're slowing things down, it's your rest and digest is another term that people use for that. So those would be good times to have gastric emptying, bowel or bladder, pupillary constriction. Uh, uh, basically, your body is just slowing down, okay? Everything is at rest. On the, on the contrast, in the sympathetic nervous system, when we have that release of norepinephrine, that's gonna cause an increase in heart rate, pupillary dilation, which makes sense because if it is dark out and we're trying to run away from whatever that insult may be, uh, we need more light coming into our eyes, so that's why pupillary dilation. Um, and then we obviously want more blood flow to the, uh, the muscles and the important uh, parts of our body so that we can get out of dodge a little bit quicker than normal. 